All right, before we get started, just got a couple things I want to get off my chest. Uh, first off, thanks for listening. Uh, Delver Dan, this is not Delver Dan, by the way. Uh, Delver Dan will be happening, but I didn't feel it all the way responsible to go ahead and move forward with the fourth episode without kind of posing a little bit of a, a disclaimer uh, upon the uh, intro. And I'm going to keep this brief, but <clears throat> I'm going to try to anyways. The uh, <clears throat> I, I guess my main point is don't let Delaware Dan or anybody distract you from what's really happening and what's really important and let's just all give ourselves uh, some time and space to just sit and check in and truly and deeply and meaningfully uh, you know um, you know look at uh, are all of the relationships between ourself and others and um, and our planet because right now there is just a disturbing amount of suffering it just fucking sucks um, just my, my recommendation to you and anybody anywhere um you know take care of yourself but also do what you can to take care of people that are not yourself or your immediate family or anybody um within your circle or whatever I would say do things that benefit people that are completely different from you and just take a moment to notice uh, anybody who might be really struggling because we all are empowered with the ability to help each other and I'd like to remind myself and everybody about this uh, sort of paradigm and you know, if you do something good for somebody else, you might feel good in the process. But don't do it just so that you feel good. You know, that's only going to get you so far. Um, a good way for it to be kind of a lasting thing is to try to help and elevate all people, especially fucking people who have been shit on by our sort of erroneous and headstrong sort of thinking that we can conquer nature and we're better than everyone because at the end of the day your shit smells like shit just like everyone else's shit and uh you know uh that's some fucking shit so um stop um you know I'd recommend uh stopping self-righteousness of any kind of degree um you know, and that goes for pretty much all um, methods and viewpoints and all that. Um, if you truly see everyone as equal, then you're gonna let them fucking do this, do this, do the talking. And it's, you know, it's important to know when to when to speak up and when to shut the fuck up and let somebody else uh, say it. And um, it's also important to know the work that you have to do. Uh, on yourself to increase your compassion um, as a boundless uh, compassion because um, at the end of the day we're all um, we're all the same people you know trying to do the same thing in the same place and some people take that from others and then it's a big mess right now with uh, you know the, the blame game, but at the end of the day, the blame starts and begins with each and every single individual, and this is where your power as an individual can only 
lessen the suffering of other people, which in turn lessens your own suffering, which then in turn, you know, kind of makes this whole thing a better thing. So I would say find a way to benefit indigenous people all over the planet because uh, there's um, there's a sickness in all of our minds that and we think we think that we don't need to be connected to nature and that we don't need to be doing our part and uh, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, we need to fucking stop that shit and we need to um, you know reconnect with nature we need to reconnect with the planet and um, you know, that starts with, uh, cultivating boundless compassion, whatever way you seem fit. Um, so yeah, just like shut the fuck up and do it and stop being, uh, self-righteous. Um, yeah. Well, so without further ado, Delaware Dan, but first this extended intro brought to you by Plague 64 in the hexagrams. Because if you haven't heard it yet, you're probably not going to like it. But if you do listen to it, please listen with headphones. Hey there, folks, this Devil Redeemed. No problem. 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 Hey there, folks, this Devil Redeemed. All that. Hey there, folks, this Devil Redeemed. No problem. Hey there, folks, this Devil Redeemed. All that. Hey there, folks, this Devil Redeemed. No problem. Hey there, folks, this Devil Redeemed. All that. Hey there, folks, this Devil Redeemed. No problem. No problem. All right, all right, it's Dan. It's Dan. Welcome back to another edition, Delver Dan. Uh, got a couple things to get through. Uh, we have our first submissions for the uh, pro bono <coughs> advertisement strategies. Uh, for again, uh, to repeat from the from the message. Uh, I'm not sure if we got to it last week, but we meant to say that it was going to be, uh, or not week, but it was probably a month ago at this point. Um, yeah, I came down with a bad case of the, uh, the allergies, and I yeah, got uh, kind of a blurred vision, new confusion, and uh, I, I hit my head real bad coming down the, uh, riding down the, uh, the off-ramp. <laughs> I got a new Vespa, and it, I don't know, I was uh, merging on a 95 off of 202, could try to get on, um, try and get up there, and I, you know, I don't know, I don't know what happened, so, anyways, the, uh, but so, with the first advertisements are done, and we're gonna be playing them pretty soon, and this is the cross, uh, promotion, uh, the promotional things are gonna, we'll be cross-promoting them on a Delaware Dan podcast, and, uh, thanks for tuning in, um, so yeah, the uh, uh, what I was gonna say is the um, the people that uh, su- support Delver. De- hold on one second. Hold on. Hold on. Today on Delaware Dan, a special episode dedicated to those on the front lines of marketing. Pretty much I don't I don't have any new updates on it on the issue, so um let me just try to get back to what the hell I might have been trying to do. Uh so we're doing hundred the first hundred or so uh jingles that so you submit it to us at Del Dan a certain amount of Topics and things you wanted to see promoted through, uh, you know, an advertisement type marketing campaign uh, initiated by Delaware Dan Prayer Force One. Uh, we sealed ourselves into the uh, Temple of Marketing uh, for a 24 hour period where we fasted and uh, ate an eighth of mushrooms and uh, listened to uh, feedback loops. And we were able to figure out some new marketing strategies for you folks out there. So, uh, again, we're going to be playing them. And if you have, if you have any, um, you want to submit, uh, some advertisement ideas, uh, when you want to see represented by Delaware Dan marketing, again, the first hundred, uh, or uh, like 109, um, 108 marketing strategies are on a half. It's pro bono. Um, which, uh, you know, since, uh, Delaware Dan is also a, a legal entity of sorts in a way, 
kind of ill-defined, but you know, still on the you know omnipotent uh, or you know impotent, whatever. Definitely an impotent entity of Delbert Dan. So come on down, send us your new ideas. God damn, my head fucking hurts. All right, we're gonna roll the next clip. Uh, all right, uh, here we go. All right. If you and your family suffer from a lack of cross-promotional motifs being reprised in an irreparable raucous caucus in Sea Caucus, New Jersey, then you fucked up and you need to merge onto the Jersey Turnpike and turn the fuck around and stop fucking around in New Jersey. I don't know who sends me this shit, but stop, stop talking about New Jersey, dude. We're De- it's Delaware Dan, not New Jersey Jack. New Jersey, New Jack, New to Jack. Um, all right, no problem. Call, call Delaware Dan for this problem. So that's one. We got one crossed off the list. All right. Um. On today's episode of Illegal Crimes. All right, we're do, we're looking at illegal crimes. Um. All right. So here we go. Um, Delaware teens charged. Um. All right. Blockheads. Uh, God damn it. All right. Hold on a second. Damn it. Fucking paywall on this shit. Just. All right. Continue to cite. We've noticed that you're blocking ads. Unblock ads. Click on the Chrome bar. Uh, you know, this should be an illegal crime. Fucking. I'm trying to read through this damn fucking thing by Esteban. Alright, hold on a sec. Here we go. This isn't live either. I can edit all this out, so... Um, don't worry about none of that. Alright, here we go. Stop. No. Fuck. Alright, hold on a sec. Alright. Uh, still are teens charged after 30 mile car chase through Maryland. Um, and again, I don't know nothing about New Maryland. I can't, I'm not uh, at liberty to discuss this without no uh, lawyers present, even though I'm a lawyer representing myself in a case. Um, so three teens who Maryland State Police say were wanted in connection with multiple shootings in Delaware uh, with uh, weapons crimes after miles long chase through two Maryland counties that resulted in a pair of police cruisers being struck and does your family suffer from the constant harassment by a man named Deficacio Cortez who is responsible for the man with the plan to scam my man Stan that went so horribly wrong that now every, every time somebody says the phrase dump it like a dunk trunk dumper's truck in Georgetown, Delaware between the hours of 1.30 p.m. and 3.30 p.m. on Fridays in the off season, then no problem called Delaware Dean at 302-420-6969 extension 666 they problem called Delver Dan. <laughs> Stolen Jeep crashed. Uh, the teens they're from Claymont. So all right, Claymont is a good is a good example of uh, you know kind of a, just a really kind of casual sort of you know they got that's a, that's a good source of the Delaware fire mids. If you've ever heard of the fire mids, uh, they're mid grade. Uh, it's kind of like weed. Uh, I don't know what it's like now because they got all kinds of Delta Nine and all, Delta Five and all this shit. Uh, but it's kind of like that. It's pretty good. Um, but the, it's a good. I used to get my Delaware Fire Mids for Clay Mount. So this um, Clay Mount. So go ahead and get some Fire Mids. And they were so they uh, yeah they were in Wilmington. Um, so they uh, yeah they shot some people. It's fucked up. So. Don't go shooting no nobody. This is fucking dumb. I know you're mad. Um, you know it's not really for me to say to uh, tell you what, what to do or what not to do. But you know, just don't go shooting people, especially the state of Delaware, state of Maryland's fine state. Um, doesn't have as good tax rebates as uh, Delaware, as Baby Bunky previously mentioned in episode one. So go ahead, go back to that episode and check out Baby Bunky. Uh, and I'm hoping to get him back. I, you know, we I finally reached out to him on text. And uh, he didn't answer because he didn't have a cell phone. So 
I think we're going to get them pretty soon, though. So, you know, maybe even later the same episode. We'll have to find out. Um, but, you know, hopefully everyone that was shot is okay. Uh, if not, then we pray for their souls to co- cross the Great Bardo and to the pure realm of the watch end. And, um, you know, that could be another thing. Maybe once Delaware Dan passes away, he's the watch end Dan. I don't know. Again, not for me to say. So that's been Illegal Crimes. Illegal Crimes. Featuring crimes that are, in fact, illegal. <laughs> All right, so got a couple things I want to discuss. Um, as far as Delaware Dan goes, um, you know, got a couple of, uh, oops. Drop the damn paper. I've got a couple topics I want to go on. Okay, so there, there's a combination Taco Bell Dairy Queen that opened uh, over the weekend in Dagsboro. And uh, apparently it's a front. What um, we got a, we got a man down on the scene right now. He's going to tell us a little bit about what's going on at the uh, the Taco Bell Dairy Queen thing. It's a front. See what it's a front for. So let's give him. Let's ring him in right now. All right, so I got uh, Harold Phil Gilmore on the line, uh, currently live. Uh, what, what are you uh, What are you reporting there? This, well, I gotta tell you, uh, I gotta tell you, it's getting warm. It is getting warm. Uh, well, I gotta tell you, it's getting warm. It is getting warm, as we expected. Uh, from the news collected from uh, YouTube channel, uh, such as Big Red Pills, got info, and. Uh, a big portal, uh, Clinton mail, uh, that YouTube. And I, I gotta tell you, I'm getting close up here. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting close up here. All right, so, um, it, are, are, are any of the, um, is either side, is Taco Bell or Dairy Queen in service currently? Like, are you able to order okay. any? They're both in service. They're, they're both, uh, they're both in service. They are, they are turning, they, they are turning them out. Can you go? Can you walk up to the drive-through real quick? Okay, I'm walking up to the drive-through. All right, can, uh, can you order me a? Uh, uh, so you need to be in a car for a start. Oh, they're telling me I need to be. Uh, uh, you know what? I, uh, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on a list at this. At this very queen. Uh, to be honest with you. All right. All right. Uh, so, I'm, I'm moving around. I'm moving around the back of the building. Okay. All right, folks, uh, this is unprecedented. He's moving to the back at a combination Taco Bell Dairy Queen in Dagsboro, De- uh, Mer- Delaware. And uh, what's the temperature there? Are you okay? What, what the hell's going on? Temperature 60. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm crouching down behind uh, some crates. Uh, I can see an underpaid teenager smoking cigarettes uh, behind. Behind this combination Dairy Queen food yard, and the temperature is rising to be about uh, 77, 78 degrees here. You know, that's crazy because right now I'm looking on Delaware Online News Journal, and it's saying that it's supposed to only be 55 degrees. So you got like a 20, 20 something uh, de- in, in, uh, uh, ingrade. That's centigrade correct. or whatever you that's know, uh, ingre- increase in the grade in a gradient of the okay. ambient. All right, see if the see if the um see if the guy can give you uh if you can get off the kid, see if you can order a couple of chicken quesalupas uh, and bring them b- back down if you can get a chance. But if not, uh, just keep investigating. Okay. All right, I'm gonna see what kind of chance I can. Does your family suffer from constantly suspecting that the neighbor three blocks over was secretly performing black magic rituals that enable all subconsciousnesses into subliminally engaging in borderline criminal behavior that resulted in erroneous erotic mishaps where your poisonous thought patterns were expressed in a post coital defecation defacement disorder in the court? Then no problem. Call Del Dean. Oh wow! Okay, uh, you know what? You know what? Yeah, we're doing this. 
Uh, we're doing this. Uh, Aunt Patty, I love you. If I don't make it through this... <laughs> Alright. I'm inside. I'm inside the building. Alright. Okay. Um, re repeat. I'm inside a darkened back room of the Dairy Queen. Holy shit. Alright, this is huge, folks. I mean... There's something kind of weird about this Dairy Queen. We're not 100% sure what's going down. Holy shit. Alright, describe what you see right in front of you. Holy shit. I'm... I'm... Uh, I'm passing uh, through some frozen supplies. I'm seeing... Uh, some kind of... Some kind of light emanating... Uh, up, 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 up ahead. I'm gonna uh, try to get closer. Your signal's starting to dissipate uh, a little bit. I read there you, but a, there, there's some feedback loops going. There, there is, there is a light emanating, uh, what appears to be some kind of, uh, some kind of uh, futuristic or a technological, definitely college-educated door or portal. Uh, this is this is very similar to what uh, to what I was expecting to find here. Oh my um, God! That's all right. of my all of my research uh, has led me here. Uh, and I just want to take a minute to remind uh, your audience to buy uh, my bone powder pills uh, on my Shopify uh, app. And uh, all right, we're gonna post the link yeah, for that. Uh, there's actually, there's actually, uh, there's actually another change in uh, temperature uh -oh. occurring right now. Um, it's dropping, it's dropping, it's falling. Temperature dropping. I'm, I'm looking at my scoops. I got, you know, 69, 68, 66, 66 degrees. Oh my God! How about that? Uh, I'm getting close to. I'm getting close to the. It's like door. subliminal marketing or something. <laughs> Touch the door. Yeah, your signal's intensive. Okay, I have my hand on a cold. Uh, what appears to be a cold metal hand. Uh, right. I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm holding on it. Uh. I, I think, I think, uh, I think I'm going to pull on it. Alright. Um, okay, count it down for me. I don't know. Alright, here we go. 69, 68, 67, 66, 65, 66, 67, 68. Oh, something's happening. Okay, I'm looking at the door. Oh, 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 oh. Oh wow! Oh. Okay, Holy crap! You read me. You hear me, Phil Gilmore? You read me. You read me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is really uh, what I'm seeing here. Is it's uh, it's it's uh, it's it's it's, uh, it's unprecedented. Um, the flavors of ice cream that I'm I'm looking at inside of the uh, refrigerated uh, portal here. I mean, this stuff's not right. They got, um, they got chunks. They got squirrels. Um, yeah, you know, I'll tell you. When I was a kid, you had, you had vanilla ice cream. You had chocolate ice cream. Maybe if you were feeling crazy, you know, you go in for a Neapolitan. You get the little swirl strawberry on there. Maybe uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, we're gonna save the squirrels, uh, the squirrels, the veterans, uh, and I all agree with all that stuff done. You know, I agree with that. That's a good idea. But this is just the the ice cream. Uh, the ice cream that uh, the Dairy Queen is, is stocking uh, in their uh, refrigerator. I mean, portal uh, in the demonic portal is uh, is nothing short of extravagant. They're probably charging. All right. Well, we're we're you know, recording. Twelve dollars a Sunday. Uh, How about that? You know, got any discounts on veterans in hell? Not veterans yeah, that went uh, to hell, but veterans like if a veteran ends up in it, I hope not, because that's a hard yeah, job. I'm not, not, I mean, no disrespect, no veterans or nothing, but like, um, you know, sometimes you got good people, you got bad people. It doesn't matter whether or not they're a veteran or not. 
But if it so happens that someone were to chance, by chance, kind of end up in hell, what kind of discounts they got there, you know? You know, I, I, I'm not able to, uh, I'm not able to, uh, I have not been able to, to find that information on this side, uh, but as you know, you know, I, I promise you that I will make it to hell one day and I will get that information, uh, firsthand, that's, you know, well, we thank that's you. my, Co keep going, sorry. That's my ultimate destination, I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm sorry. No, 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 I think there's a delay in hell or something like that. But anyways, the uh, you know we thank you for your service. We are recording all of this. We're building a case uh, against a, a combination uh, Taco Bell Dairy Queen. Uh, you got your yin and your yang there, and it's a, it is in fact a portal to hell. Not necessarily like a hell for bad people, but maybe like a hell kind of just like waiting around doing nothing. I mean, I know Dagsboro's got some pretty good. Um, it's, I won't say hiking, but you know you can walk through the corn fields and it, you know, it'd be pretty cool. So well, that's true. Corn fields and uh, a lot of uh, really good uh, all you can eat for the sports. There you go. All right. Well, thank you very much. We're gonna um, we're gonna check back in with you in a, in a little bit and see uh, if there's any changes. No problem. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you again. No problem. No problem. A little bit more. Phil Gilmore. Sing on. Okay, so that was fucking weird, you know, pretty suspicious. So we're gonna look into that later. Um, stay tuned for that. The previous segment has been sponsored by Eddie Veterans. Veterans in support of Eddie Vetter. <laughs> Also in part by supported by this Delaware Dean here. I want to advocate on behalf of Harry Phil Gilmore. We don't know where he is. We haven't heard back from him at all. But on behalf of him and his entire family, uh, we introduce to you Harry Phil Gilmore's Bone Powder. Uh, you can search up Harry Phil Gilmore Bone Powder on Spotify, and you can find it shop. Excuse me, Shoplify.com, and go in there search Harry Phil Gilmore. Bone powder, and that's what we're that's the other thing we're doing. All right, so buy some of them. That's the other advertiser. Two out of two, all right, 100 more to go. Uh, in the meantime, we got another conversation with Dr. David going to happen. And, um, where Dan is uh, is experiencing a sort of spiritual sublimation where the Delaware Dan Enterprise is um, transitioning from the home body of Dan himself to the uh, um, to the to the level to the um, to the, the cultural industrial level um, and creating a, a Delaware Dan um, transmogrification of the uh, of the entire um uh, advertising uh, nexus system. The whole nexus of advertising is getting. The whole nexus. It's definitely you know it's globally been due for for an upgrade, but you know with Bitcoin and all that kind of stuff, you know, Doge Coin, all that shit, you know, they, we figured. Are it you out. on the Bitcoin? I'm on Bitcoin. I'm on Cash App. Uh, I like to hang out again, like gas station parking lots, you know. I got a pair of binoculars. I'm just looking at the birds. You know, I'm not looking at people's pin numbers, nothing like that. Hey there, folks. It's Stella Dan. Does your family suffer from the price of prayer going sky high so now the average taxpayer across America can no longer fixate on a minute-by-minute minutiae of motel operations in the hell realms being run by Dick Risky's Risky Dick's Initiative, a new team of illegal operatives who spying shenanigans borders on getting them caught in the act while spray painting tax information on the side of a Wawa Route 202 across the street from the Dunkin' Donuts where the team responsible for restoring a false sense of corporate responsibility was being held up by the spank devil in a freeze aisle a new problem called Del Rodin at 302 69, 49, uh, 420 69 extension 666 called Del Rodin today
you know but that, that's sort of the, the main purpose behind this this sort of uh, you know because it always comes down to the specific tones and i've mentioned this during my advertisements i've actually advertised this very specific thing and that's also i'm getting into the next point it's this uh you know i'm right now i'm all about cross cross uh marketing you know, cross platform <laughs> marketing stuff like that yeah. marketing for other things in it and so you know st be prepared you might have to do a pitch in a second not a second a couple minutes but you know this whole uh you know temple of marketing selling the beats that are used in the ads and all that yeah we're just what we're doing now i forget what i was going to say i had something more more kind of to the point Wait. you were talking about um you're talking about uh, uh prayer prayer uh, prayer songs um, oh yeah so what listening yeah. to one of these marketing prayer beats you know this instrument yeah, what is, what does it do? it's basically the same as uh doing like like when you listen to it it's got the same powers as doing 420 million in 69 uh just kind of normal whatever kind of do what you want prayer i don't know what people pay pray for what they pray for but i know what they pay for it they were dan these prayers are definitely going all over on them so that's and that's just the power of marketing you know there's they go hand in hand once i realized they go hand in, i was listening to this Beatles song and i was like dude maybe prayer and payers like you know not just taxpayers but payers of all kinds of stuff you know i'm like you know maybe that's how i market this you know whole thing so that's that's pretty much okay what, that's so pretty much yeah, you know. Do you, um, are you? Uh, do you think um, decentralized finance like Bitcoin is gonna affect the market in a way which would be um, in a way which would be negative to the Delaware Dan enterprise? I was on ninety five. I was driving across, um, you know, up there, kind of eastern Maryland, going across the bridge, and I was thinking, you know what? Well, I don't know how these kids, what they're going to be doing, how they're paying for tapes and stuff like that, and, you know, in 10, 20 years, you know, I, I don't know if they're just going to scan their retinas. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know, they, you know, maybe they, uh, who knows? So I think with the decentralization and all that, you know, yeah, I mean, I get it. Mm -hmm. I understand the concept, um, but, you know, it's... It's just what these kids, you know, I mean, I went down at the damn uh, post office. I said, let me get one. I just need one stamp. And they said, hold on. And I waited there. And then I, I gave them a dollar bill because I think it's like 98 cents, something like that. I could be totally wrong about the price. I was stoned. And they were like, oh, we're not taking cash. And I said, how the fuck can you not be taking cash? And they're like, we only take, um, you know, self um like cell phone pay I guess you take a oh. selfie all right so I've seen this you take a selfie and then you give them the thing and then and then they, and go they go you know they pay for the thing with their I don't know understand what the fuck you're doing but I'm like you yeah. know and the guy behind me was getting real mad but kind of for a different reason because I was like I was like what so yeah I mean I think dogecoin and all that whatever they got prison currency all this shit uh, whatever the fuck that shit is, it's all fucked. And you know, I, we're gonna have to start doing bootlegs again and kind of accumulate the monetary value of the tapes. They could be VHS tapes too. I think that could that's actually a good idea. I think for the, any kind of tapes, you know. So how you been um, doing doctor doctoral work? What do you call it? What is the kind of work? Oh I'm, yeah. Doc, my doctoral thesis or my research I'm but I'm doing a doctoral thesis and research at the same time postdoctoral research um, because I have been working with the uh, quantum Institute of bidirectional um, chronology and so they're letting me um, in one of my programs I am working in a future where I've already finished my dissertation mm. and gotten accepted and the other program I am still working on my dissertation um, and using the research from the future program to write the dissertation that's going to get me into that future program so it's been um, it's been busy and um, but uh, we're chugging along the way uh, measuring um, 
measuring different sorts of signals and um, the specific signals that I'm interested in are the kinds of signals that, you know, if you if, if you're matching signals um, and you're analogizing, what are you going to turn these signals back over around onto um, so that they can be sort of, you know, force fed into the, um, uh, into the community, uh, into the mathematics department so that in the end I really want, um, you know, these cognitive biases so that um, uh, um, on the, you know, the be uh, easier to make drinking wine on the beach free for everyone. You know, that's all, that's all that, um, you know, many people, that's all they really want to do. They just want to sit on the beach, drink a wine cooler or something like that, you know, listen to whatever music they enjoy. You know, and that, that's pretty, uh, you know, that sounds like, that sounds like pretty good work. I think we could use that, you know. Anyways, just sign up and, um, you know, make your pledges uh, through the email. Uh, you, we are now accepting Bitcoin and Cash App, Venmos, and uh, the other one. So, you know. But yeah, that sounds sounds pretty good. You know, Delaware Dan is always good kind of testing people, uh, testing um, testing himself, kind of testing the legal limits. And I think, uh, you know, mm-hmm. I had a kind of a rough year last year with all that, and uh, you know, I'm just glad I got out. Uh, with a skin on my back and I'm ready to do this again this time we got the prayers uh going like i said uh, you listen to one mm. three minute track some of the tracks are only like a minute long 40 seconds stuff like that the, the marketing beats and that is 420 million 69 prayers per uh listening on a tape so I'm, i think a bu- if a bunch of people get out on their boom boxes and they start playing them it kind of might do the same effect a little bit. What you were describing in your in your job kind of made me visualize a little bit of the same kind of, you know, printing into the future, all that kind of shit. Uh, maybe they, you yeah. know, maybe maybe they can three D print some drugs in into the future that makes you time travel back in time, like in Dunes. That would be sick. You working on that? Okay, I, 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 um, I can definitely pass that up the chain. Um, cool. There's people, you know, they're doing, they're open to ideas. These these guys are just people like you and me. They're just, uh, you know, they wake up in the morning. They also brush their teeth. Um, and they're just looking for ways to make it a better world. They're trying to make the world a better place, just like you and me. Um, and if they can, if they can, um, if there's a demand, then there needs to be a supply. That's what my tattoo says. And that's what I really believe. Well, there you go. That makes perfect sense. Supply and demand. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Delaware Dance. So are these prayers? Do they have? Um, uh, do they have any sort of spiritual? Uh, you call them prayers, so they must have some spiritual effect. Well, see, that's up to the person listening to it. I'm not really one to say what they're, uh, you know, what they're trying to do with it. Uh, all I can say is don't do nothing fucked up. I don't want to know more of this bullshit. There's actually a whole, a new thing coming out. It's called um, Enough of the Fucking Shit. Oh, no, no, I'm not fucking with the... F- oh, yeah, no, it was said to me by a driver on I-95. Crossing into... Uh, I was going through Chester up in just south of Philadelphia, and this dude yelled at, at his car. He's like, I'm not fucking with your fucking shit. And I was like, you got the wrong guy. I'm just kind of, you know... You know, I'm aggressively wishing you a good day, motherfucker. Just cool out. You know, go go in the. You know, got free, it was free Rita's day. Go get free Rita's. I don't give a fuck. You know, mm-hmm. but it's you know it's, mm-hmm. it's kind of like the moment. It's like all right, I'm experiencing this thing. I don't like it. Fuck this feeling. And, or I'm like, I'm really digging this. Instead, I I just that something happened. I must have been stoned or something. I don't know. But I was just sitting there. I said, Damn, how about that? That that fucking happened. How about that? How about that? And how about that indeed? So, you know, to find out more about Dr. David's uh, beer pills, where the hell he's talking about, you'll find out. Uh, he didn't mention it in this one, so you'll have to listen to the uh, download. Delaware Dan Marketing Beats tape online on the Bandcamp, and you can get the download the bonus episode interview with Dr. David. No problem.
All right, this is uh, called Books on Audio, where we take some books and we put them on audio so that you got them uh, on an audio format. You can listen back to him. And you don't got to read nothing. So if you're a lazy piece of shit like me, you're not going to read nothing. So, all right, here we go. First one is called How to Solve Your People Problems, which is kind of topical to what Delbert Dan's overall message is. It's by the author's name is Eric Copeland. And let's see what he has to say. So we're just going to open up. All right, <clears throat> chapter one, Inner Vision. This is Delbert Dan's Books on Audio. But with uh, by Delbert Dan for Eric Copeland's How to Solve Your People Problems. No problem. Uh, no problem was added in by me. That's not actually what it says on the thing. I'm, you know, I might kind of interject a little bit, but you know, I'm, I'm not going to do that because I want to defeat the purpose of the, you know, kind of the merit <coughs> of it. So, all right, here goes. What ape people probe? In world about to melt, ease in the warring the people. Customers benefit only to bosses. Subordinates will all rave and behave, and it's their blindness that makes waking life so difficult. A uh, problem in simple theory exists between extraterrestrials resulting in terminal problems covertly altered situations. This book is intentional. Cover the most common of them in dung, heavy, and decay. Televise the minimum. And uh, escape, <coughs> escape the norms. Give quick head, but dude. But dude. To get to get you added a problem. Nope. And now that's how you solve the problem. So you get no problem. Where Delroy Dan's about no problem. This one, this is all about problem. So, yeah. That you, oh, out of the problem that you find yourself in. Be reclusive at the party, sit alone, condescending, rich, belittling pricks may be part of the cause of the problems you face. You're heading the right people. At the right, the people protested the behavior of both parties corrupt. Be chaos savior. Is it your real existence? Your world be done? If you die angry, angels let the danger grow, and you deal with hell below, aggro eternity at the end of your apps, and email instant darkness for sinners. The party is over now, and help lost. Snort this line to think faster. Questions lead to problems, and knowledge ends, thought, and leads to an eye in the sky mastermind. Super ape in some war room, silence and no information, appears heretical when given at confession. You crappy human being. While inserting your finger, be aware Patsy suggests another party to any conspiracy. You still have no choice. And so that's basically, that's page one. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's page nine. So, <clears throat> join Nothing Heckler, a timely hot name filled by the pro hype man, joke pro, depression and compulsion. Uh, dodge cart driving. Two or three of the sample cell to add it to clear picture of their best man. Th 9 a.m. from the hours of 9 a.m. through 17 hours. And then you can write overtime in a book. So that's that's basically what we got going here. You can fill this out anytime you get. This is what the pages sound like. So that's books on audio by Del Dan. And uh, all right. Thank you for listening. That's by Eric Copeland. How to solve your people problems. And you know, like I, like me and Baby Bunky always say, no problem. Hey, it's uh, Delbert Dan calling for a Tedley. Who's a Tedley? So, hey, how you doing today? Doing pretty good. How are you? You know, it's not so bad. Uh, I'm not at liberty to discuss where I am without my lawyer present, even though I'm a, I am, in fact, a lawyer representing myself in the case. I still can't talk about a matter. But, I, you know, it's nice where I'm at. I could say that much. That's, that's for fuck sure. It's nice outside? It's nice outside. It's, I'm inside right now. But uh, okay. Got the AC on. It's too cold actually to even have the AC on. I don't know why. I just I felt like spending all this money on air conditioning this month. I was like, let's let's run the bill up, you know, because that's that's one of my new rules. Run the bill up. Run the bill up. Yeah.
next extreme setup and segment. This is how we'll set up the segment coming next. From the unspeakable and magical display of all phenomena across the globe as a sphere, a sphere of aware, awareness were being filleted. If you and your family suffer from the unspeakable and magical display of all phenomena across the globe as a sphere of awareness being filleted by a demiurge who was created in the freeze aisle of your local Acme grocery store when a dad spanked a mom in a myriad of sarcastic marketing slogans that made up the standard American family afraid of pretty much anything not safe as milk were all wrapped up in a closed loop of advertisement logic, the new problem called Delaware Dan at 69. 69, 420, so 420, 69, 69 at Delaware Dan. Visit DelawareDan slash uh, dot com. Call now. Uh-huh. I mean, classics is like anything, anything Zeppelin, really, honestly. But, but, you know, you know what I had the other day? I had a um, real good cherry pie. Made me think about that song, uh, She's My Cherry Pie. You know that, you know that one? That song fucking rocks. That's so fucking rock, you know what I mean? Yes. So, yeah, that's a, that's a good one. I mean, anything by Prince is, you know, really gets me going. Dude, that one song when he's got um, that guitar riff, that's, he's like, just, he's like soaring on the back of an eagle, just like. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, I know you're talking about. Dude. I like the John where he's wearing a purple and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, that one's real tight. I don't even know. He's playing guitar or keyboards or something? I don't even know. Dude, it's some kind of other, otherworldly instrument that they invented on him. Yeah, he's not. Damn. Well, you get down with, you get down with like, ZZ Top. What, what do you think of them guys? So my, my boys think they're too southern for me. But I think it's just fine. I think it works out just fine. You know fine. what? ZZ Top's all right. But the only thing my beef with them is... Uh, the, they all got beards, but the drummer and the drummer's last name is Beard, but he ain't got no beard. Don't make no sense. Ain't that about a bitch? Yeah, that's so <laughs> stupid as hell. <laughs> It'll make no goddamn sense. <laughs> yeah. Damn. You ever go up? You ever drive in a loop like around the uh, you know in a city uh, city hall and just drive in a loop? Concha Hawking Curve. Concha Hawking Curve. Concha Hawking. Yeah, yeah. They ex express the. Uh, the, uh, whatever, the Vine, or whatever the fuck. Oh, the Vine Street Loop. Yeah, I knew what you were talking about. Dude, I was at Behindman one day, and I, I went up in the joint, and I was like, 
fucking is this broad and fine and speaking of broads this broad was sitting there and i know i don't i don't usually like to say that word but since i was on broad street i felt like it was it made sense and i was like i'm not at broad and fine and she was like would you call me and I, I had to get the fuck out of there dude i ran out so fast yeah, dude, I would have been like, oh, shit, my dad. Yeah, well, I, don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm not even trying to act like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, when, when's the last time you've been in, in Delaware? Or, like, Delco? Delco count, does Delco count as Delaware? I get in arguments about this all the fucking time. I don't think Delco is in Delaware, but I don't know why they call it that. Cause it's, That's it, what I, I said. I don't get it, but... It didn't make any uh, sense. Last time... Last time I was in Delaware, I don't, I don't know, man. Might have been, might have been Christmas Eve, uh, 07. Damn, that was a good Christmas Eve. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what you were doing, but I was, I don't remember what I was doing either. I think I was, I had just become, you know, self-aware at that point. I don't even know. <laughs> I think I was, uh, I think I was like wearing a Stitchers hoodie, and uh, some, some dude was like, what the hell are you doing here? And I was like, my bad. I know I'm up around here. But, you know, I got to I gotta go down here Christmas Eve, see part of some of my family, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you get a lot of weirdos in Delaware. You got a lot of Steelers fans, you know? Boo. Green Bay. Yeah, it's Boo. weird as hell. Like, you're not even close. You're not Cowboys. even close to Pittsburgh. Why are you Spurs fan? Like, it's so funny. It don't make any sense. This is making any sense. I think it'd be New York Jets. Hat. I was like, what are you oh, doing, guys? God damn. That's disrespectful. That's disrespectful wearing that hat. I can't even believe they make them hats no more. Because they should yeah, ban them. The they should ban all them. Because every time I see that hat, I get so mad. I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like them colors. It's fucking bad colors, dude. If I wanted to wear them colors, I'd get a job at fucking Men's Express or some shit. Men's Warehouse. Yeah, dude. So when I worked, I did, I will tell you this, I did work at a Burlington Coat Factory in 07, and I don't know why I'm telling you this right now, but it might have had to do something with me being over there on Christmas Eve, because I think I, I think I had, like, messed up an order, but I had to go take it to somebody's house, I'm, I'm not really sure, I, Burlington, Burlington, New Jersey, or something, you know what I mean, it's tri-state area, so. Yeah, exactly, it's all within reach. It all kind of makes sense. Kind of makes me think about, like, when you were saying Broad, I, I thought about Broad Street, and I was on Broad Street the other day, and I seen this dude, and he was, he had a squirrel on a leash. I can't even believe that. Can you believe that? <laughs> I can't, nah. I kind of refuse to believe that. I don't know. This, that doesn't seem, uh. Yeah, he said, he said, uh, I found, I said, where'd you get that squirrel? He said, I found him behind the axe, so I kept it. Damn. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> I was like, what the hell? That don't make it. He, he was like, he said his name was Tony. And I was like, can I touch him? And he was like, touch it once, no good. Touch it twice, Tony Two Touch. And I said, what the hell's that? And he said, his name is Tony Two Touch. And I said, Jesus, man, this squirrel's crazy, dude. Get the fuck and out. he just left like that. That's yeah. it. That's it. I've never seen him again. Never seen him again. But apparently, he's a squirrel guy on Bull Street. Damn. So, anyway. What are you going to do? You know, we, that's just, this way it goes. Sometimes it's just, life, life's just crazy like that, you know what I mean? Dude, I hear that, dude. Man, all this shit is so crazy right now, it's just like, I don't even know. Yeah, man, you like, know. people are just like, they're sticking needles in, in their arms for all types of reasons. To get better, get not better. To get better. worse, yeah, no, I've seen that one. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, i see one dude stick crazy a needle. Stuff. One dude, yo, I heard it. I read this on the thing the other day, but one dude, he he was like, you know, he went, he went, and he got some sort of some sort of you know shot in his arm, and then he he lost all feeling in his arm, and when he when he looked back, it actually had it was slightly small. His wrist size had shrunk, and I was like, dude, what are they his doing? It was smaller. Yeah, I think I've heard of that. They made a wrist. I was like, dude, what? You know, how's he gonna? How's he going to give it a good tough jack from here on? How's he going to go to work? Yeah, what is he going to do? You're putting this dude out of work. How's he going to get the old one, too?
Does your family suffer from the lack of reasonable fees gaining you entrance to Hot Dog Land where wacky wieners smack the brick at a Greenhouse Bank Express found in the drive through at the Triple Tip Dippers Combination Taco Bell slash Dairy Queen? You had a frothing tip that was rebranded in the spring of 97 when too many children named Chadley were born unto the land of the man except for one. He became the sole Chadley to ever become the number one tip dipper dip a tip who released the hit single Dip Ya Tip in autumn 1969 when he evolutionarily reverted into a cup full of semen being drank as a prank. New problem called Delaware Dan. At 302 uh, 420 420 excuse me 302 420 6969 extension 696 come on down on route 40 Auto, auto suplex. We're down. In, we're down there, uh, up in Newcastle County. No problem. <laughs> you can't give it. You can only give it one, and that's fucked up. You're depriving us of the, of the, all the men. They're silencing the men's two, number two. They can do the number one. They can't do no more number two. That's fucked. That's crazy, man. Can't even go number two no more in this country. <laughs> I have to break character because you sound exactly like my uncle. Hell <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Well, well that's all so, I got. Uh, right, so go ahead. Go ahead. What, what you, you got? What, I'm just saying, like, what are you using this for? Are you using this for something? Yeah, I'm, so I'm just like, you know, talking to people on a, putting on a Delaware Dan you know, kind of informational podcast. People can tune in and, you know, it's like back, they, you got archives, all that. So, you know, they can listen to it, get kind of, get acquainted with like uh, all kinds of marketing advice, legal advice, prayer stuff. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All you that know. stuff. I know, you, I know you've been doing that for years. Been doing it for years. Finally all coming together, you know. Uh, got through some challenging um, kind of legal uh, you know, endeavors, uh, some people got hurt and, uh, you know, they're doing better now. Um, and I didn't have to pay no money for it. So that's good. And yeah, pretty much that's like we're, great, at, we're at where we're at. And that's all I can say. I got, you know, I got to thank God. I gotta thank God for, uh, basically, you know, the birds and for their, you know, their victory. And, uh, also, I mean, go birds, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that the word, Lord Jesus Christ is up there. Lord, Lord, baby, Jesus Christ is up there in a in a in a, in a eagle's onesie and just giving himself away. He's still thinking about the Super Bowl. Yeah, dude, we're gonna bring it back again. You know, and then the world will see that the Bib- it has been biblically prophesized in the in the um, revelations. It says it on there. Well, so. hopefully, hopefully this year we got Dante Smith. Hopefully, we're gonna get some. Some from a uh, couple touchdowns, you know what I'm saying? Dude, hell yeah, definitely, definitely. So you know what? Don't worry, Dean. Keep, keep, keep uh, bringing the touchdowns to people's hearts and minds. Thank you, and, you as uh, well. I'm excited. I've been, I've been still dragging my feet on this Quega Play 64 thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and click it right now. And I finally got the money in the account to do it, so I could just do a quick wire transfer. Take. Three to five business days. The next thing you know, oh wait, no, it's already been five days, so I can do it right now. So this, there we go. All right, it's away. Some tapes. I'm gonna make some tapes. Uh, Quaga, Quaga. Am I saying that right? There's someone it's, out there. It's Quaga. 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 It's a, it's a, it's an extinct, uh, like zebra. Oh shit! How about that? How about that? That's awesome. Crazy, right? Yeah, it's pretty wild. Yeah, I've been... uh, I can uh, I can uh, send you some um, some monies if you want to split or whatever. Yeah, I think we go halvesies and then we divvy up the tapes, half and half yeah. when we do it. I got ship I got Venmos. The... I got Venmos. Yeah, I got Venmos. I can send you my uh, I'll send you my Venmos on there. You know, I tried Cash App, but I ended up it's a whole story, dude. I'm not even going into it. I don't do the cash app. I only do the Venmos. They went in, and I was like, I thought I was sending money to some someone I want to see get votes, and they didn't. It didn't work out at all. It didn't work out at all. Nope. Let me just say that much. It did not work out at all. <laughs> 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 all right, dog. <laughs> well, 
Yeah, just request, just request some beans from me. Okay. And you just sent that? I see now. I think I see it. Hold on. I'm still on the flip. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you when I get. Oops. I'll see you when I get. Uh, when I get back to it. Hell yeah. All right, dog. Uh, all right, cuz. Yeah, good talking to you. You take you take good care. Tell Aunt Patty I say what's good. Uh, I'll tell I'll tell the Holly that uh, she's uh, she's much love. Send them uh, send it out. And we'll see. Well, hopefully, we'll go down to Florida soon. We'll see you down there. Come on, yeah, come on down for it anytime. We go swimming in the Gulf, and it's pretty good. It's yeah, pretty I'm good. gonna get I'm gonna get sun poisoning on the <laughs> tops of my feet and on the tops of my head. <laughs> We seen we seen a couple of dudes. I was crossing the street the other day. I was crossing Golf Boulevard and about to go to the beach, down the shore. And this dude was he was walking and his boy. He looked literally like he was Satan. He like he had all these like kind of like bulls on him and stuff. And like I straight up like could have sworn he had horns coming out of him. And he was this boy was playing it off like he was fine. Like he was just walking like it was all normal and shit. But I was like, dog, you need to go to the hospital. That's so crazy. I can't even believe that. <laughs> my one my one boy said he may have passed. I was like, dude, that's not fucking funny. Come on. <laughs> <That's> funny. <laughs> fucking sit, you know, devil looking dude walking down the street and I'm like, dude, you need to go to the hospital. I'm like, not even pranking you right, right now, dude. Dude, so did you how many vaccines did you get, man? You're only supposed to get one. <laughs> I got one. And uh, I'm getting another one just as a backup, uh, in two days. So I already got five. So. <laughs> that's what's up. That's good, you know. That's, you got to stock up. I, there's enough to go around anyway. Yeah, I just, so. said, just in case. I said double it up on there just in case. Get it on there. You know? Got to get, get vaccinated. All right, man. Yo, good good talking to you, cuz. Take good care, okay? All right, cuz. Much care, love. Bro. Much love. Peace, bro. Much love. Peace. There you have it. Uh, you know, that's my Philadelphia cousin, and um, it's off the chain, you know. I don't know what else to say about that. So, we're doing cross promotions uh, this episode, um, and, uh, you know, check out uh, Quaga, Quaga, God damn it, and then Plaque, Plaque 69, 64, and the Hex, the fuck? the fuck is this hexagrams sounds like demonic shit to me but anyways it's pretty good um we're gonna play a, tra- a track right now that's uh, you heard a little bit of the other one prior so now we're going in and there's some of these beats all right so let's check it out plate 60 not four This is coming out on cassette, which I don't, I don't, know, I don't, I don't get that. Um, I know we did. I mentioned, I may have mentioned previously, we're doing a lot. Of, let me turn this. All right, did a lot of kind of market research on cassette tapes, whether or not they're going to sell to people or not. But you know, honestly, I don't give a fuck. They're just gonna. That's what we got at down at Temple Marketing, and uh, let's say we just say we got a good Delaware deal on the, uh, you know, on the equipment there, and we can use them to make tapes. So. But so I don't know why you put this on a tape though. I don't know, that sounds a little too psychedelic for Delaware Dan, you know. I might be Delaware, but I'm not psychedelaware. So anyways, um, you know.
party at an office. Phone remodeling was their business. Dusting and wiping orangutan fingerprints off the desks was Corbin's, sucking it all in through his eyes and tendrils. There was even a rumpus room complete with psychedelic paintings of Leonardo DiCaprio and Christian Bale, the type of thing you would see in a ruined cafe with a little tag that says something like, El DiCaprio $450, collecting dust and coffee stains for years. As he dusts the framed Towson University business admin degree on the wall, his mind's eye conjuring motivational speakers in loincloths masturbating in front of a screaming audience of inebriated undergrads. What comes of these rapists? Post-conviction? Is there any shame? Any remorse? More likely they double down and climb to the top of Trump Tower raising a black flag and a middle finger to the world dedicating their lives to fighting for their right to be terrible without consequence. Proud boys in the locker room, just being boys, and what's so wrong with that? Uh, well if he pukes on the floor he will have to clean it up, because that is what he's here for, 30 year old made in frayed clothing. A vision comes. Not enough hemp, but you're chock full of shimp? Don't want neither of those? No problem. Try Three Stogies Coffee, cause it's pretty fucking good. You and your family will shit your pants, no problem. Go to officehours.com, I think it's .com, something like that. Just Google Office Hours, or bing bing, or wherever you do, .com, and type in Office Hours, you, um, and sign up. You get some of that coffee, cause it, like I said, it's pretty fucking good. Do I need to say anything else? No. And we just tell her Dan. No problem. The handsome hair gelled businessman who occupies this office from 9 to 5 with motivational posters like, Don't wish for it. Work for it. The only thing between you and your goals is the bullshit story you tell yourself and wedding photos from the special day. But the conjured image is this. The man, Jason, seven beers down the hatch, IPAs, his new favorite, and he's staring just below the TV screen's offering of Real Housewives, but his mind is going into that dark place again. What's the fucking point? I'm so horny, etc., etc., etc. Conditioned dog response. This is the bullshit story you tell yourself, Jason. Wife asleep on the couch after an entire bottle of Chardonnay to herself. Eyeliner smeared and frowning. And Jason beats his chest twice with his fist and looks heavenward. High on self-improvement and capitalism. He screams to himself, I will achieve and rise above. His wife barely rolls over in response. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, clean house, clean mind, clean office, clean work, clean. Lots of things came to mind when Corbin was cleaning. sounded like a demon out of hell or something like that but that's cool all right that was uh that's my friend todd cage calling in uh i think he's injured so that's why he sounds like that but it's cool you know so he made his book 
It's kind of similar concept to Del Dan's uh, books on audio, but it's like a books on tape. It's like an audio version of a book. So he's doing them, and uh, you know, so that's that's basically where we're at now. Um, all right, well, let's let's hear what else he's got to say about him about the issue. So because he had hyper fuel for breakfast. That was his name for it. 7-Eleven black coffee and a bag of hot fries, $3.45. It felt like battery acid on his esophagus, but it gave him a short-lived feeling of dedicated purpose and hyper-motivation to scrub the black tar shit off any toilet he came in contact with. The filth beckoned him inside. Dog hair, spilled milk, fecal crust, and pebbles of cereal. Cleaning houses is different from most work because the fruits of your labor ripen immediately. You do the work and you see the results. It's an impatient outpatient stream job. You don't even have to think. You only have to do it. The results are always imperfect, but most clients don't complain. Headphones oozing dread into his sleepy eardrums as he gets started, turning on the sink and letting the sponge expand for the cleansing. Adonis, god of opinions, has appeared in his mind's eye, ready to give a speech. Long-haired and determined with refined musculature, right fist directed toward the sun and shouting this is good, and this is bad, as Corbin alone at sea level way down below sweating and toiling away, plugging his ears and trying to pretend that nothing is happening. What do these wasted gods want from us peasants? Business. If we all start swimming in their pool, surely they'll find a new watering hole and condemn the one we've come to share. Two birds attached by their talons and flying in opposite directions. An elephant and an ass playing tug of war. This is the ideal scenario for those depraved gods above. It was pleasant music before Adonis came along and now, cell phone in hand, shuffling through artists, trying to find something that was good and not bad, but it all seems bad when Adonis is looking over your shoulder. The earbuds jerked out and down as he decided nothing was better than something as far as music was concerned today.
interesting fact, but it is not something that for cutesy reasons I have turned to. Does your family suffer from the noodle nipples caramel? Rum ticklers, the nosy little void between the voids, the void between the letters, the void between the letters of the void, the distractions from the void, the distractions from the void. Are distractions the distractions from the void? Are the actions the actions that are the distractions? The distractions are the actions of the void, the distractions are the actions of the void, the void is being desired and the void between the letters of the void. V O I D. Between the letter lies the prairie, prairie acres, the prairie acres, the prairie acres of sunlight and wheatgrass and golden tulips and sun-kissed memories. Amidst the sun-kissed memories of tulips and sun-tickled ferns, the ferns tickled my sundress. The ferns of a wispy, wispy memory of the wealth of the forest. The forest was a whispery memory of the wealth of the megaforest. The megaforest was once a place of all the silly Willie Dumple bullshits. Amongst the tales of the cracks between the toes of the T and the Y are the mysterious of the T and the Y are the mysterious of all the funk. What is funk? I'll tell you what funk is because I'm Delaware Dan. Alright, that was written by Jenny Moon Tucker. It's pretty good. Uh, you know, I can't get reading her thing and not saying that it's not her that wrote it because I didn't come up with that. Normally Delaware Dan comes up with that. Well, other than the advertisers you all been sending me, which keep them coming. Uh, you know, so, yeah, that was from Jenny Moon Tucker. So we might be able to lump that into three. She did technically, she sent it to me, but I don't know if she sent it in as an advertisement. So 
uh, you know, I'm sorry if I didn't uh, use it correctly in that, but I, you know, I don't know. I think it still works pretty well for it. I mean, I don't know what it's advertising. Maybe nipple caramel. That sounds like a good kind of product. To get on, you know, get going on him. So. pretty good there's a song by manas 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 uh and they're from i think they're from uh asheville north carolina and they got the that was a uh, tashi dorji and tom goyan pretty cool all right so here's the thing i gotta interrupt myself real quick i had to go back and, get, and edit this down a little bit uh up edit up i'm adding in because I forgot to mention, so that was uh, Fessy K. Uh, at, a, at a Florida, she's pretty good. That was the kind, it's got the beats. And uh, coming up next, we got um, some more information. But then after that, it's going to be, we might be hearing from Baby Bunky. I don't know. I asked him if he had any song recommendations to add to this little playlist that I do sometimes. And we'll see if he if he got one for us. I think he does though. So we'll see though. And before that, it's going to be so between what I just mentioned and uh, and then the other one is going to be Frank and the Hurricanes are coming back uh, this time with a track called Will Dorado, and it's pretty topical to the episode. You got to listen to words. I'm not going to spoil it or nothing. So, anyways, we're going to go back into what the original broadcast said, starting now. And then before that, you heard uh, Diz Ren Ray, pretty good. You know, a little, uh, little eclectic little segment there. Um, okay.
fucking A, man. Oh my god. Oh, they can hear me? Oh, fuck. Hey, Dan, this is Bunk. I'm just chilling like a villain, man. What do you need, man? You just gotta let me know. I'll, I'll let you get it. Get it, whatever it is, man. No problem. Alright, now here's the thing. Anywhere Delaware Dan is... Uh, in a 50 foot radius, he's been imbued with the pol uh, the policy and the like kind of radius of the Delaware Autonomous Zone within a 50 feet radius of Delaware Dan at any given moment while in the continental United States. And it does exclude Alaska and Hawaii, just so you know. In Guam, uh, actually, it applies to Guam, but not Hawaii and Alaska. But it's a 50 foot radius. Technically, you're in the state of Delaware. You can incorporate for tax rebates. And here's the thing people want to come at me and say, Delaware, Dan, don't, state of Delaware don't pay no taxes. And that's what I got to tell them is, all right, they don't pay no sales taxes, but they pay out the ass and the other kinds of ass taxes and all that. So, anyways, Delaware, Dan, with some finance, some political finance. Thank you for tuning in. Delaware, Dan, no problem. Betty, bam, lamb, whoa, black Betty, bam, lamb, Betty had a child, bam, lamb, whoa, black Betty, bam, lamb, bam, lamb, bam, lamb, walk, bam, lamb, bam, lamb, bam, lamb, whoa, black Betty, bam, lamb, whoa, black Betty, bam, lamb, bam, lamb, no rain, no lie, bam, lamb, show rock steady, bam, lamb, and she's always ready. Bam a lamb, whoa black Betty, bam a lamb, whoa black Betty, bam a lamb, guitar and drum solo. That's always the thing about doing this one at karaoke is like the guitar and drum solo, they just like go on forever, like these guys are really showing off, I mean I knew they're called Ram Jam, right, but I mean come on, I don't know, I mean you know, they're pretty good, but this guitar and drum solo goes on like forever. I shit you not, man. It says more guitar solo. It's like it like never ends. Bam a lamb, whoa, black Betty. Bam a lamb, she's from Birmingham. Bam a lamb, way down Alabama. Bam a lamb, will she shake that dang? Bam a lamb, well she makes me sing. Bam a lamb, whoa, black Betty. Bam a lamb, whoa, black Betty. Bam a lamb, and that's how we do it in Bayview on a Saturday night. No problem.